President Donald Trump's facing a backlash after claiming that he misspoke when saying he saw no reason why Russia would hack America's presidential elections. He was already under intense pressure from the US media over his performance at the Helsinki summit with Vladimir Putin. Nati Samira Khan reports from Washington on Trump's latest remarks. The key sentence in my remarks, I said the word would instead of wouldn't. I have uh, President Putin. Uh, he just said it's not Russia. I will say this. I don't see any reason why it would be. The sentence should have been, I don't see any reason why it wouldn't be Russia. Sort of a double negative. So you can put that in, and I think that probably clarifies things pretty good by itself. It's not just politicians from both sides going absolutely nuts over the Trump-Putin summit. It's the media as well. And it's mostly just criticism of Trump's willingness to talk to Putin. There's a reason there is a big national freakout happening right now over what the president just did in public. Vladimir Putin pitched a shutout. Trump got beat up in a locker room. What worries me about you, Mr. President, is you seem to say only good things about your enemies it was shocking it was appalling there was a real sense of defeat you have been watching perhaps one of the most disgraceful performances by an american president he had a chance to show loyalty to the men and women in uniform and instead he betrayed them it's a disaster now it's forced trump to backtrack saying he misspoke which allowed him to reiterate claims made by the u.s intel community but they're still not convinced Instead of standing up for our democracy and democratic principles, President Trump cowered in the presence of Putin. It was a wholesale betrayal of the values and interests of this country. There is nothing more heartbreaking to me than a president who refuses to stand up for our democracy. The president sided with the enemy. With the perpetrator of the election interference. Disgraceful performance of the president. A treacherous act. Ignorant and woefully disrespectful. President Trump continues to take the word of Russians enthusiastically embracing their excuses. He is unable to confront Russia on anything. The highly controversial meeting has prompted calls to release transcripts. Apparently, they want to know exactly what happened and what was said behind closed doors. We're worried about what the president said publicly. We're even more worried about what happened in those two hours when the president was alone with Mr. Putin. I believe the Senate Foreign Relations Committee should hold a hearing with the American translator yes. who was present during President Trump's and President Putin's private meeting to determine what was specifically discussed and agreed to on the United States' behalf. Now, this all comes uh, despite uh, agreement reached upon. So we're just going to have to see if a domestic backlash hinders uh, Russia-U.S. relations. I think we have a the mainstream media and we have the military industrial complex whose goal it is to shame him in any way possible when he speaks against their agendas. Now, he was right to challenge the military industrial complex of which the intelligence apparatus is one part, one very important and very expensive part. But the fact that he then turned tail and apologized just shows that he lacks the backbone for this job. It's going to help if Trump can actually use what he said, which was right. He was right to call the intelligence community in, into question. Because of their bad intelligence, we are stuck in one nonsensical quagmire after another. So if he can actually take that and say, you know what, I retract the apology. I wasn't wrong. We need to put, we need to put a leash on the American intelligence service. If he can do that, that would be fantastic. I don't see that happening, though. What I see is someone who's blustering a lot and showing any kind of lack of any kind of real backbone on this. Well, Donald Trump has tweeted that, in fact, the intelligence community, quote, loved his performance in Helsinki. He also claimed many haters were bothered because of how well he got along with Putin. First and foremost, want to give all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh. Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakakodash, double honors to the apostles and elders who rule well a great stone, and a blessed sanitation to the Akiums in the full kind of the earth, pushing the gospel and sensitivity. Truth shallow one. Right, just want to do a little commentary on this um, video. Right, it's um, 
It's a lack of backbone. Trump uh, backtrack on Russia election meddling claim. All right, and if you can see, it's 144, you know, spiritual number, All right? Which is the governor, the, the, um, the 144,000, right? 12,000 from his tribe, All right? So Trump, Trump, um, Trump saying he make a, a misspeak, right? We was to say it, uh, we don't see why it wouldn't be Russia. It's supposed to say wouldn't instead of would, right? But through the spirit and power, you have Hashem, you have We can say, Brakatei, Hawa, Brakatei, you have Kahala, Kahala, you have Hashem, you have Hashem. Right? Our praise and glory be to you, Hawa, Hashem, you have Right? Because the king's, the king's heart is in the hands of you, Hawa, Hashem, you have And it's you, Hawa, Hashem, you have make, make Trump make that, um, we will call it a mistake. But this is going along perfectly and line up perfectly with prophecy. We got Russia, right? Gonna shoot missile and, and destroy America and also the EU, right? And this this proving this showing also that the kingdom is divided. You so called white people kingdom divided, right? Because you so called Russian or Edomites, you are gonna be destroyed too, right? The how shall you who the one gonna take God, Jesus gonna destroy you, right? America gonna be destroyed, you know, you England. All these European nations, all your military going to be destroyed. The land of Israel going to be destroyed too. Right? So, <coughs> start up here. Right? So, we see the, div we see the division in, in the so-called white man kingdom. Right? And the kingdom divided against it, itself that it can't stand. So, instead of Trump sell wood, he's supposed to sell wooden. Right? He wouldn't see why Russia, you know, uh, basically, he tried to say he wouldn't, uh, he wouldn't, uh, wouldn't be, he wouldn't see why it, 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 it it's not Russia, right? That's basically what he's trying to say, right? <coughs> a matter of fact, we'll play it back, you know. We'll play it back exactly what he said. Um, I think it's, um, all right, so we're here. So let me play it back. The key sentence in my remarks, I said the word would instead of wouldn't. I have uh, President Putin. Uh, he just said it's not Russia. I will say this. I don't see any reason why it would be. The sentence should have been, I don't see any reason why it wouldn't be Russia. Sort of a double negative. So you can put that in and i think that probably clarifies things pretty good by itself yes yeah, so the scripture says that uh, double a double-minded man is unstable in all his way right so this is a, this is a double-minded man right and the heavenly father you have him you set up donald trump because america america gotta come down and america gotta be destroyed by tom and nuclear missile and you so called white kingdom gotta be destroyed your rulership and you gotta go into slavery right um <coughs> Let me get this a quick to show that you see you see all the, the, the opposition party are the opposition um um uh, in America you know, all of them against Trump even even his uh, allies you know they, they don't like his behavior right um let me get this is Mark uh, Mark chapter three all right. This is Mark chapter three verse twenty four. He said, "And it, and if a kingdom be divided against it itself, that kingdom cannot stand." Right. So this kingdom divided against itself because the opposition, um, this call it the uh, opposition party in um in the in the United States of America, they they, they come out and speak against Trump. You know, they're saying this man, this man have no backbone. You know, this man, this man didn't represent them. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't put pressure on Putin concerning meddling in the, in the uh, American election. And the men, the men, the men that the most I put the spirit on, you know, the whole field, like we know that the American president is be selected. Your vote don't come. Your vote is just a front. 
So we know all this is just to get to Russia because the most I put the spirit on these either might to go against each other. So the the, 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 the so-called Americans they wanna destroy Russia, but Russia gonna destroy them, kind of prophecy. Right? So you kingdom, you so-called white kingdom uh, divided, right? It's uh, Mark chapter 3, verse 24. And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. And if Satan rise up against Satan, and if Satan rise up against himself, right? These two is Satan. Right, the word Satan means adversary. This is the Heavenly Father adversary. Right, these both of these are Edomites. They are the seed of Esau. Right, and Russia, what a coincidence. Russia, Russia, Russia missile, Russia have missile and Satan on the Satan too. Right, right. Um, so he said, and if Satan, which is adversary, rise up against himself and be divided. He cannot stand but at an end. So you so call white people rulership in the coming in, in, in that the, at the large dregs. Right? But you know, the most I is who the most I is who control control these um these leaders and all these 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 presidents, so called presidents and leaders of the world. Right? Um this is um <coughs> Ecclesiasticus Chapter 18, verse 1. He said, He that liveth forever had created all things in general. The Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahshua is only righteous, and there is none other but He. Right? He said, verse 3, Who governed the world with the palm of His hand? So Yahweh Bashem Yahshua, Yahweh Uri Walimutika, God, He governed the world with the palm of His hand. Right? And all things obey his will. All things obey his will. So these two, these two Edomites, yeah, they do everything that Yahweh Bashem Yahshai put in their mind to do. Right? Let me get a precept to back up what I'm saying. Right? <clears throat> you Edomites going down. Right? You Edomites going down. Right? <coughs> Salakia. You Edomites going down. This is Job 33 and 15. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, in slumbering upon upon the bed, then he, who he, Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, then he opened the ears of men and sealed their instruction. So the Heavenly Father opened up the the mind and seal the instruction to what they gotta do, right? Right? More, more, more proof, right? President Trump and President Putin, they are just puppets. All these so called leaders of the order, they are puppets. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh set them up. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh put you so called white people in, in the rulership seat, but you acting like it's you put yourself there, right? This is Proverbs chapter 16, verse 1. He said, a preparation of the heart, which is the mind in man, right? So the preparation of the heart, which is your mind in man, and the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. It's from the Lord, right? Let me go back to here, right? The most I make Donald Trump say we have to see, right? Let me play back again. In my remarks, I said the word would instead of wouldn't. I have uh, President Putin. Uh, he just said it's not Russia. I will say this. I don't see any reason why it would be. The sentence should have been, I don't see any reason why it wouldn't be Russia. Sort of a double negative. Yeah, so the most I, do, the most I do see the instruction to say that. Right? The most I see the devil instruction that he can say that. Let me read this again. This is Proverbs chapter 16, verse 1. He said, The preparation of the heart in man and the answer of the tongue is, is from the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So the most I put in putting this devil's spirit 
to see to see if you have to see because well, you got to 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 um <clears throat> break your treaty with Russia right and you're going to vex the, the, the um your allies which is you um the NATO and EU and they're going to shoot missile at you you're going to destroy you right all this tariff war and this sanction you're putting for your allies you're going to vex them because you're playing with the money you don't play you don't play with a man money you don't play with a man bread when you got feed your family right and this is what america doing so honestly not to prophecy that why 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 she gonna be destroyed and also for we for you we you so called white people did to the to the so-called negroes latin native american indian right you got to pay for these things too so all is gonna lead up to your destruction right you understand so we go back to this precept eh? right this is um ecclesiastic ecclesiasticus chapter 18 verse 3 who governed the world with the palm of his hand right and all things obey his will for he is the king of all by his power dividing holy things among them from profane right this 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 is profane this is profane these people are profane you so called white people you are the city isa y'all are profane the israelites are the holy people you so can negroes latinos and native american indian are the holy people yahweh bashem yahweh is going to destroy you Right, so the more side, the more sides who do it, the more sides who doing this, right, to, to bring the destruction on you free on you Edomites, right? You understand to bring the destruction upon you Edomites, right? Let me get this one before going to the destruction because the most side gonna use Russia and the EU to destroy America, and also the charts of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. With the world in the car UFO, they're gonna shoot lasers at America too, right? Um, Psalms 67 verse 4, right? Psalms 67 verse 4, he said, Oh, let oh, let the nation be glad and sing for joy, for thou shalt judge the people righteously and govern the nation upon the earth. See, la. So the most eyes who govern these nations, all these nations are set up, and all these president, these so-called prime minister, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai set them up. He put them there. He Yahweh Bashem Yahushai who run things, right? So this this now is a betrayal to Russia because you said one thing, and when you when you went back across the water, you said something else. So this nation, this nation tired America, and they know America break our treaty. You understand so they're gonna be destroyed right they're gonna be destroyed by that by by the allies and by the enemy right and the enemy is russia that's why the opposition party in america they're coming down and Donald trump say you have no backbone right so they're gonna be destroyed and this this is prophecy right this is prophecy <coughs> this is jeremiah Jeremiah chapter 54 verse 3 said, For out of the for out of the north country coming up a nation against her, the nation, right? North country talking about Russia. Right? Right? And and against her who America. The horror is America, which shall make her land desolate and and none shall dwell there. Therein they shall remove he said they shall remove they shall depart both man and beast and this will happen to america america will be isolated because america can be destroyed in one hour can revelation 18 right let me jump to verse 9 right <coughs> so that's okay, verse 9 it's um let me start verse 8 he said remove out of the midst of babylon and go forth out of the land of the chaldeans right which is america today and the child is the so-called wise men, which is Iraq, Shai, Rockefellers, and them. And Dupont's Goldman Sachs, and them. Tap witch, tap devils. Right? He said, and be as the goat before the flock. He said, for lo, I will rise and cause to come up against Babylon, which is America, the land of confusion, an assembly of great nation. 
So Russia can come up with Russia allies with Iran, Ethiopia, Turkey, China, North Korea. These nations are going to come up alongside with NATO, America allies, right? For he said from the North country, and they shall set themselves in array against her, against who? America. From hence shall she be taken, the arrows, ICBM missile, shall be as of a mighty export man, none shall return in vain. You understand? So this got this this had to happen. What happened with Donald Trump and Putin had to happen. Mistake with words had to happen. You might look at it as a little a little mistake with the words, but yo, we in the heat of war, we in World War Three. So you might look at it, hey, this is just a little thing, but no. Them say the little mistake, they gonna escalate, gonna escalate into into the nukes flying. You understand? They gonna escalate the nukes fly because these these so-called white men is a is base men. And they can kill each other for power. That's what they're gonna do, they're gonna kill each other for power. Right? So it's gonna it's gonna escalate. And we seen we see what's going on in America. You know, it, it, it's own people coming down on him, right? You understand? This is revelation. This when, and this when is is allies, because Great Britain was against President Trump meeting President Putin. He was against it, and the EU saying that um, you know, every day he's, he 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 has something negative to say about 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 his allies. So all these things, all these things gonna lead up the tariff, the the, 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 the heavy, the heavy sanction put it on the, on, on on his allies. You know, all these things gonna add up. You understand? And these nations gonna say, you know what? Yo, f this. We gonna fly nukes. We tired of this. We tired of this. We tired of this. You understand? This is Revelation 17 and 16. And the ten horn, which thou saw upon the beast, which is the ten horn, which is going back in um, NATO. The military power, right? These shall hate the whole. The whole is America. So the the, 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 the NATO and EU, they're gonna hate America, which is American allies, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire, right? So don't take this a little this little mistake that he said he's it, um he. He see it would it would would not be I uh, would wouldn't be Russia, right? Just <laughs> let me let me just play it back so I get it correct, you know. Just let me just play it back, right? So don't take this don't take this lightly. This is gonna escalate into war. Sentence in my remarks, I said the word would instead of wouldn't. <laughs> I have uh, President Putin. Uh, he just said it's not Russia. I will say this. I don't see any reason why it would be. So he said, I don't see any reason why it would be. Right? The sentence should have been, I don't see any reason why it wouldn't be Russia. Sort of a double negative. So you can put that in. And I think that probably clarifies things pretty good by itself. It's not just politicians from both sides going absolutely nuts over the Trump-Putin summit. It's the media as well. And it's mostly just criticism of Trump's willingness to talk to Putin. There's a reason there is a big national freakout happening right now over what the president just did in public. Vladimir Putin pitched a shutout. Trump got beat up in a locker room. What worries me about you, Mr. President, is you seem to say only good things about your enemies it was shocking it was appalling there was a real sense of defeat you have been watching perhaps one of the most disgraceful performances by an american president he had a chance to show loyalty to the men and women in uniform and instead he betrayed them it's a disaster now it's forced trump to backtrack saying he misspoke which allowed him to reiterate claims made by the u.s intel community but they're still not convinced Instead of standing up for our democracy and democratic principles, President Trump cowered in the presence of Putin. It was a wholesale betrayal of the values and interests of this country. There is nothing more heartbreaking to me than a president who refuses to stand up for our democracy. The president sided with the enemy. With the perpetrator of the election interference. Disgraceful performance. 
Yes, yeah, so the president sides with the enemy. That's what they're saying. Yeah, you see it? So, you know, this. They're, they're, they're gonna they 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 gonna back Russia. They say, you know what? We can't deal with these people. He house not in order. You understand? And they're gonna force they're gonna force him to put put sanction on Russia and they're gonna go and something else they're gonna do and this whole thing gonna escalate. You understand? This whole thing gonna escalate and they're gonna be they, they're gonna be destroyed. Right? America gonna be destroyed. Right? Yao Bashim Yao Shai say in one hour. Right? In one hour. Right? In one hour America gonna be destroyed. <clears throat> um, this is um Revelation chapter eighteen verse fourteen. Salaki Revelation chapter eighteen verse four. And I hear another voice from heaven saying, Come Come out of her, my people, that he be not partaker of our sins, and that that he receive none of our plagues. So it's when the elect gonna be beam up into the, those those chariots, so called UFO. Right? That's how they're gonna be, they're gonna be beam up in before the missile hit. Right? For her sin has re reached unto heaven. Who sin? America. And Yahweh had remember our iniquity. Reward her even as she reward you. And double unto her, double according to her works. So you so God wipe us of a thousand years of slavery. Right? And after a thousand years of slavery, the most I can eradicate you, devil. You're gonna burn you up. In the cup which she had filled, filled to her double, and the cup is slavery. Right? It said how much she had glorified herself and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow gave her, for she said in her heart. I sit as a queen and I'm not a widow and shall see no sorrow. So America like I said, nobody nobody can destroy them. You know? You know, let, me, let's make America great again. Right? You know the the pride. He said, Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire, for strong is the Lord. Yahweh, who judged her, right? He said, and the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her. So this this nation who traded America, you know, they get rich, right? They get rich because America is, is the biggest consuming nation on the face of the planet, right? She, he said, shall bewail her and lament for her for, for he said, when they shall see the smoke of our torment born in because well, they're not gonna make no more money off of the whore. The whore gonna be destroyed. You understand? So they're not make no more money off of the whore. Right? It says standing afar off for the fear of our torment, saying at last, at last, that great city, Babylon, America, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. One hour, America gonna be America gonna be destroyed by Turkey, Ukraine, missile, and Russia gonna shoot Russia and Russia allies, which is Turkey, Iran, Ethiopia, right? Then got China with them, North Korea, right? Then they got America allies, which is NATO, the EU. All these nations gonna shoot missile at America. You understand? And also these these, these so-called chariots, no Salaki, the chariots, which is the so-called UFO. Of the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai gonna send a laser and brimstone on America. America gonna be destroyed. Right? And with that hope lesson was edifying. I wanna give our praises and honor and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Bashem Rakakadash, double honest to the apostles and elders who rule with a great stone.